All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, short video. Uh, I want to show you how the RF 433 or 315 megahertz works. Um, first of all, I will use Arduino to program this. And I will use also the software in a library called Radiohead. You will find the code and uh, the schematic and the full article on the description below. So you can check it now. Before I start, I just um, I want just to show you the sensor, the the RF itself. This is the the RF module from CD Studio. This is the receiver one. Um, before we just get started, um, let me just um, remind you that the Radiohead library works on a timer too on Arduino. And because of that, you must be careful if you want to integrate some applications like server motors or IR remote control library because it might not work well with this uh, library. So let's now get started to see the connection. This is the transmitter. For the transmitter connection, we see from here we have a VCC and a ground and the data. The VC is the red one and connected to 5 volt. The ground to the ground of Arduino Nano and the data to pin 12. This is the transmitter pen. So here is the transmitter connection. Now let's see the receiver one. The receiver one is the same thing. We have a transmitter, we have a VCC, we have a ground and we have a data from pen 11 and because of that you must be careful on receiver because the receiver uses the timer and if you want to to add more pens you must be careful that the, ripe, the library sometimes reserve pen 12, 11 and 10. Now um, to power on this circuit I will use here the power bank and here I will use um, the wall adapter, AC to DC adapter. Okay, now um, this power bank will power on the transmitter circuit connected to Arduino Nano, as we see here. Now it works. Then I uh, want to power on the Arduino Uno, which is connecting to the receiver one. So, as we can see here now, the transmitter uh, send a data to the receiver and the LED attached to pin 13 on Arduino Uno blink every two seconds and you can check the code and see how it works now for example let's power off this yeah as we see now the power 13 is not working again just power it on and here we are. All right. Now the second application is to connect the button to the to transmitter, and if we push the button on, it will send um, a signal to receiver. Now I will use this button. Well, there's nothing magic about that. It's just a normal button. You can do it by yourself. You can attach it. To the breadboard, yeah. As you can see, I just have this 3D printer cylinder, and I put this button inside it, and have just two wire. Oops. Yep, that's it. Now we must connect it to pin two. So from here, this is a pin two, and this is the ground. All right. Now, no need to pull up resistor because I enabled the pull up resistor on the Arduino on the programming. So now everything is okay. Now I will power on the circuit. Okay. Now let's test the circuit. We need just to put the RF receiver and transmitter maybe between one to two meter away from each other to work properly well. But now let's see. This is the push button, and if we just 
push the button on, the LED on number 13 will turn off. So let's see that. Off, then it turns on, again, off, on, off, on. So if we push the button, the LED will turn off, as we can see.